Okay, so the next group we want to look at are in the Uniconta as their supergroup, the subgroup Amoebozoans, and the um, specific group of tubulinids. Now, tubulinids are commonly called amoebas, and amoebas are characterized by their false feet, also known as pseudopodia, which are cytoplasmic extensions from the cell, and are used for locomotion and feeding. The terms amoeba and pseudopodia should sound familiar because we already looked at amoeba-like organisms in the group radiolarians. As you'll see in a few minutes, the easiest way to distinguish a tubulinid from a radiolarian is that the pseudopodia in a radiolarian are really tiny, long, and spindle-like, whereas in a tubulinid they are larger and larger around and um, more lobate in their structure. To get an example of tubulinids, we have a culture here of living cells. You'll notice that the name is Sarcodyna, which is an old name where um, it includes both Rhizarians and tubulinids, because in the past, because they had pseudopodia, they were put together. We have um, cover slips here and a microscope slide that has all been cleaned off here. So I'm gonna take the lid off of this key thing about um, an amoeba slide is that the amoeba are all in the bottom. They're heterotrophic, so they're feeding on all of the debris. So what I want to do is I want to make sure that I go down into the bottom here and gently suck up all the debris I possibly can. So you can see all that debris in there. And then take this, put drops on here. Okay, we'll close this it off. We'll leave it a little bit open because these actually have to have air so we don't want to close it completely. And I will go in and place a cover slip on the slide and prepare it and have it all ready to go. This is our amoeba slide. We're right now under the 4x objective so it's magnified 40x times. Amoebas are interesting. They're single-celled organisms and they're actually quite large single-celled organisms and they're very slow moving. The key to finding an amoeba is knowing what you're looking for. Okay, In here there are actually two different types of amoebas on this particular um, screen. Amoebas move slowly and they expand out with long finger-like projections called pseudopodia. So I'm gently going to move into the very center the amoeba. Okay, and I know it's an amoeba mainly because I know what I'm looking for. And you can see other things moving all around. The amoeba actually is not moving very fast. I'm going to take the 4x, I'm going to shoot up to the 10x, focus it. Okay, and there's our amoeba. We'll move our amoeba right into the center. And amoebas are very interesting in pond water because in pond water you have, you know, all of your various um, levels of an ecosystem. Okay, you have your producers, which then are photosynthesizers. You have your um, consumers, which then are going to eat the producers. And just like in any ecosystem, we have our predators. So these big giant amoeba are actually predators, even though they move extremely slowly. Okay, if you've ever seen the movie The Blob, the blob is a giant amoeba that goes in and eats people. These amoeba then uh, are eating what are called euglena. All these little guys swimming around are euglena. And what the amoeba does is that it tries to trap a euglena inside its long legs that it's moving around. Okay, those long legs then are called pseudopodia. And you can see right here that the amoeba is engulfing this little, these little green guys right here. So they basically swim in, the amoeba then attracts it in, surrounds it with its um, pseudopodia, and then ends up taking it into the cell. Inside this amoeba cell, you can see all kinds of um, vacuoles inside where it has organisms that it's captured and it's going to eat. Some of the interesting questions I always have about an amoeba is what makes it go the direction that it goes. 
So we can see that this amoeba is just moving along. It's moving forward from left to right. And I really don't know what clues or chemical signals it takes then to actually figure out where to move. But they definitely have certain personalities and will move in various directions.